Hey everyone, it's Sahava. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going on a road trip. Say hi, Addison. Say hi to everyone. We are headed down to the Pink Lady in Richard, Vermont. Um, kind of a bittersweet video today because uh, a couple of weeks ago, I'm not really sure, a few videos ago, I remember speaking to you guys and telling you that this place is a real destination, like a must go for antique lovers, especially if you're in the New England area, or if you are in a uh, Quebec town or Ontario town that it's not too far of a drive. Anyhow, um, I spoke to Margot, I texted her to find out what the opening hours were for the boutique. Um, and sadly, Sadly, she uh, the on the very day that I texted her, she informed me that the building was sold, and that's great for Margot because she's um, eighty years old and she really wants to get out of the business. But she has until August twenty first to completely liquidate the building. So we're gonna head down there. Hopefully, we'll get some nice footage. I am on the hunt for ephemera. And this place, I am sure, will deliver. I may look for some fabrics. I may also look at some clothing. But the reason I mention it is because if you guys wanted to take a trip down there, you're running out of time. So um, I'm going to head uh, down there and we'll take some video footage. Uh, maybe nothing of the drive because that's boring. But yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and I will leave all the information of how to get to Pink Lady in Richard, Vermont down in the description box below. But yeah, road trip today. So hopefully you guys will stick around and we can have some fun. Hey guys, so here we are outside the Pink Lady Vintage in Richford, Vermont. We've gotten here a little early, but I am excited to tour you around the premises. So um, hopefully my gimbal will keep working. I don't know how charged it is, but I will try and use it as much as I can. If you hear beeping, it's probably the battery in the gimbal dying. Okay, so just before we go in, guys, I want to take you around the front and I want to show you a little bit of what the front of the place looks like. So here we have this cool sign with a razzle-dazzle bear outside and an apron. I just want to give you guys a front look at the, um, what it looks like here, which I think is fantastic. Little noisy outside. <laughs> but here we go. We're going to go in and... I mean, this place is insane. It is so big. Right from the entryway, it is full of stuff. So we are on the lookout today for any kind of vintage ephemera, such as this postcard. Um, there are tons of books in here, tons and tons. A lot of the stuff that is in this pile right here, believe it or not, is actually stuff that the last time I checked with Margot, she told me that she sells on eBay. <laughs> so if you can imagine, this is where she keeps all her boxes for her eBay shop and uh, all these various other things. <laughs> Okie doke, so I've got to change my glasses, so I'm just gonna hand this over to my cameraman and she can tour you around this room. Say hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. There's no photographs in there. I already saw a postcard that I wanna take. There's like so much stuff, I don't know what to look at. First, walk around the room, Madison. Do I talk? You can't, just walk around. <laughs> you can talk if you want. You can say hi to people. They're your friends. They all know who you are. That's adorable. Large yeah. collection of salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. If anybody wants it. Yeah, because we know that Marco wants to liquidate this place, right? Oop. It's fine. It's going to beep. I got it. I got it, guys. I'm wearing my glasses so I can see inside now. But, like, 
All right, I don't know how good this this content is going to be, guys. I may not talk much, but I want to show you pretty much all the things. There you go. <laughs> Vintage hand mixer. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff in here. You can... And I want here sheet music, linens and doilies, an entire range. Guys, can you see this? It is in an entire range full of linens and doilies, guys. Can you say, like, I'm going to go mad here. There's so much here. There's some. There's so much it's overflowing, and it's leaking onto the floor. So much stuff. Okay. I, I, I'm going to need to go through this place with a fine-tooth comb. Um, look at that ephemera. Isn't that terrific, guys? Like, super exciting. But I want to give you guys a quick tour of this place. We are going to go upstairs, you know, before my camera runs out. I hope my battery doesn't run out, but look, look at that. Okay. So now I have not found a um, video on YouTube yet that takes you through. I've lost my family through this hallway that way. <laughs> so I'm going to follow them around. And we're here early. We're the first customers, but here's a little, you can't even get in. Like I am standing, literally that's the only space for my foot. What do you guys think? So all I know about this house is that it's got 21 rooms. Our little goose friend. <laughs> it's got 21 rooms. I hear clanking, Eric. Are you breaking things? I'm making a path. You're, you're what? You're making a path. Oh, you're making a path. I decided to just walk over everything. Oh, yeah. Addison would decide to walk over things. And you're making a nice little path so we can go around and see all of the beautiful things. I mean, guys, the camera can only do it so much justice, unfortunately. <laughs> a parasol a parasol yeah. and of course there's little lace doilies pretty much everywhere here so I just want to give you an idea as to like how deep that goes but we're going to continue upstairs we're going to continue upstairs <laughs> Eric I'm going to come back and look after but you know duty calls I've got to service these people first they have to know they have to know what's inside so we have to go upstairs, all these hats, look at these hats, unbelievable, all these books on the way up. Here's a closer look to what is all going on here on the way up the stairs. And if you guys want to see more, go ahead and just slow down the, um, what do you have there, miss? You took a book? What did you find? Stamps. Stamp album. Yeah. <laughs> said, no worry to like balance it. Oh, there are actual stamps in here. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be lots of things in here, but let's keep going. All right, so we have a small set of stairs here we could go up, or we could continue up this way to where there is another set of stairs up here. Like, how much do you guys want to come and visit this place before it closes? Like, really, really. Okay, let's see if we can. I. I it's going to be so hard. All right, I think we need an insurance policy to get in here. So we will maybe not take a gander into this room, but just remember, Margot has until August 21st to clear out this place. Anybody need a picture frame? I mean, there's stuff in the back there that we we can't even we can't even reach like I cannot get past this stand right here cuz you can see what's on the floor this is the this is a I am a size 7 US see that that's how much space I have to get through here I found a shell you found a shell some of those ones where you can clear the ocean it's pretty cool <laughs> there's no way to walk in that room okay so, how do we uh, proceed? Uh, 
Okay, don't knock me into anything here because uh, I don't want to buy the whole... All right, so there is an emergency stairway there that I don't think anybody's getting to. This, if I remember correctly from the last time, was the Christmas room. So there's a lot of Christmas stuff going on here. I don't know if this stuff is for sale, but more magazines. But when you get up to the third floor, guys, that's when it's really going to get to you. So um, we've been through that. Let's go back down. It's a treacherous road. It's a treacherous road, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. These vintage scarves, some Christmas decor. I think we can make it into this room. Um, I'm trying not to do too much editing on this video, guys, because it would be such a shame if you would miss any of what is happening here. Look at that pile of papers in the back, though. Like, I wish I could get to it. It looks like it's all um, old magazines and stuff but look here look on the floor oh wow look at this a book cover what did happen to george he got lost in here somehow that's probably what happened to george <laughs> what a horrible thing to say and to put on youtube and here's some old photos and we have some like vintage comics down here in this box sorry if i'm making you dizzy guys i'm trying so hard I wanted to try and get to those in the back there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I don't think I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I do not see a pathway. Um I don't see a pathway. There's a lot of broken glass, I won't lie, but I don't see a pathway to get to that pile right there in the back. So I think we're going to have to abandon that. And um, I will leave it up to you guys when you come to visit. Oh, here's a flower sack. That's cool. All right. Scarves. We saw that. Some pictures. Hang on, miss. Lots of other rooms we want to see. So we've got a room there. This room itself. A room over there. And a room over there. And then, of course, all along the side here, just a pile of books leading to you all the way up the stairs. All these books here. Um, such a treasure. And I'm going to get you guys footage first. Here's a whole thing, a whole rack of postcards. I didn't even see that because I am not going to go through this with my fine tooth comb until I have done my due diligence by you guys. Right? So... Here we're in a room where, again, there is so much stuff that I can't even make sense of it all. Um, this is what I'm dealing with on the floor to get there. <laughs> but, I mean, if you know, you know. It's such a treasure trove of things. And I'll try and raise you up as much as my five foot three height will allow me to go to give you kind of a scan of what is going on over there. And um, if you're asking me if I can see the floor, the answer is clearly no. Um, but Addison has found her way into another room, so I think we're going to go around this way and then back down. Oh, wait, no. I guess we're not. No. No. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. There's something in the back there. Can you make it there, miss? Yeah, Let's there's, see. There's, there's someone at the top, right? Okay. Yes, a lot of cast iron, I know. Okay, let's see if we can make it closer. All right, Addison has found a path. Wave to everybody. Yeah. So lots of cast iron and cast iron things in this corner that you guys can see. Wooden bowls. Wooden bowls? Yeah, wood bowls or like pots. pots yeah, pots. And, and to say nothing of all of the artwork that I've been sort of skipping over, guys, which is just all over the place, hung up literally everywhere there's not really much that we can see because i'm real close to it at this point but yeah it's um okay wow look at that just right on the floor okay so now we're going into this room right here where um you could get lamps you could get lamps here um and of course there's like all the all the lamps i think every lamp in vermont 
is in this room. <laughs> I think so. Talcum powder. It's really cool stuff. Is this a radio, guys? I don't know. Eric's not here. I think this is a radio. Let me know in the comments if that is a radio. All right, so we've been down that way, but here's my view. Could you wave, Bug? Wave to everybody. You're too far away for them to see your face, so don't worry. They're going to laugh. If I know my, my, my audience, they're going to laugh. All right, let's go up here where we see all these different books. And then when I get to the landing, I'm going to turn around and give you a view. That will be the view. Isn't that something? All right, it's getting dark. Up here, there's a bunch of clothes. Now, it looks like the clothing used to be on racks. So much stuff. So much stuff. Here's a pile of books in this corner. And we are going to go up these stairs into this room where we have clothes, shirts, jeans, men's suits. But, I mean, we're talking like maybe two feet of clearance here. Maybe that much. Ball gowns. And everything is pretty much on the floor. Now, I did not think to bring a flashlight. So I don't know if my phone will allow me to light up when I'm using the camera. Okay. So, no, it doesn't. But I am climbing. I'm so sorry. I'm climbing on the clothing now because I just want to give you an idea. I don't know how you guys can see the things. This room is like, you would not know that this place had 21 rooms for all that we are climbing on top of a pile of clothes. Does it help to get into that room? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've actually been in that room before, I think. I'm going there. Um, <laughs> but this room, guys, if you're into records... All the records are going to be in this room right here. So much stuff is going on. I'm going to have to go through this room again when I'm not holding a camera so that I can actually shop it. Because it looks like there's a set of stairs that leads back down. That was probably at one point the servant's stairs. And this probably was the servant's bedroom back in the day. Um or some such. There's boots, all these like gowns and stuff. I mean, the place just goes on and on and on. This is a wedding dress, like, and then all this paper ephemera. And then I've actually been in here before. I'm climbing right now, guys. But when I tell you that you need an insurance policy to get into this room, I remember this place, but when you could, like, look at the, I mean, I don't even know how these shelves are staying. I don't know how they're staying, but, um, yeah, I mean, and we haven't even hit the toy room, but like, look at this 1963. Um, and there's like so many books in here, playbills, um, all kinds and I'm trying to get in here without it like falling and I don't know if there's a light no I don't think so um so I guess we can't get footage in there but it is a room that's like you could probably see it with the daylight it's just like full of books full of books and all kinds of things and this is um I mean the the age of some of these things is I don't know. It's just crazy. And there is a uh, a kids section. Here's some collector books. There's a kids section. Here's a Sears catalog. Look at that. A whole bunch of Sears catalogs. Like really vintage. Oh my goodness. Addison, come here. I think we need to buy these. These are um, 1971 Sears catalogs. Like, that's crazy. Should I get those, guys? Should I get this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, what else do we have here? 
all these catalogs. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's like a vintage Sears catalog maybe I want to get. It's like... Anyway, I, I'm going to have to stop filming and like look at things properly, but... Okay. P help me up. Oop. <laughs> okay, we are climbing. It is a treacherous place. I mean, if you... If you are looking to buy some inventory because you have an antique shop or a resale shop or something like that, I know that they have until August 21st to empty this place. And if you bought this entire, we are going up there, people. We are. That's our next stop. If you bought this entire place, you could probably really make a very good living. Look at this. All the bed sheets. I mean, you, you really do. You really do. And I hate to say it, but you've got to climb. I'm standing on like two feet of furniture. Here's a vintage cabbage patch sheet. It's crazy. Like, and I have no use for it. So it's not like I could even bring it home because I really have no use. There's so many Afghans, so many quilts. Vintage curtains, all kinds. Okay, leather jackets, vintage sweaters. Like, it's just crazy, guys. Oh, my gosh. Can we even get in there? Doing baseball bat. Yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, there is a children's room, or there was at some point. I think Addison is in it now. But we are just climbing. Like, I don't even know if I can go in there. Addison, could you get footage of me? Like, turn around. Turn that around. Hold that. Just hold that. Guys, there's literally a chair right here. <laughs> like, that's the back of a chair. So it gets pretty scary. There's so many things. I don't even know. Like... Come on, let's see if we can venture into this room right here. Oh my God, guys. Oh my goodness. Twist your ankle in this place. Absolutely, you could like, really, it's, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like, how could you even begin to look through, you could suffocate in this place. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. It used to be more organized. I don't know what happened. You collect more junk. It's more fun. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Yep. I'm Watch good. out. Kids Watch bedroom. Watch out. Okay, let's see if we can find stuff in the kids room. Oh, look here. Show this. This is a whole bunch of trim buys. Like a whole bunch of haberdashery and all kinds of things. But it's all hidden. Like I never know it was there. And, um. Cool. Okay. Cool. Barbie shoes, an old Archie comic. Mm. This magic used to maker. this used to be a lot oh more organized. God. Of the first ever like <laughs> easily bake oven. The first ever, eh? I don't know if it's the first ever, but oh, and then an actual easy bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we is on a field trip today. Okay, here's all the children's books. Um. So there's definitely, oh my goodness, that is a big noise. Yep. yep. What's that? Oh, those are, oh, look at the golden books. You want to grab those? Oh, there's shit. like a stack of golden books right there. Can you see it? Let's see what's here. If there's anything worth, like the Rand McNally ones, I would Mr. also be. Garfield, Shaw. Well, turn around. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we're stepping on like furniture. Oh my god, look, we're stepping on a keyboard that's like behind it. Oh my gosh. Huh. Guys, are you still here? Are you still with me? Leave me a comment in, down below. Like this video if you're still with me because I'm scared a little bit. Okay, my little book of words. I don't have this one. It's a first little golden book edition. The cover is falling off, but I think we could save it. So let's make a pile here. Okay. I don't like Garfield. What's this? Wow. The gingerbread shop. This one is in a state, my friends. It is in a state. 
it is wow look how old that is oh i have to take that what else do we have bugs bunny i don't like these ones mickey's christmas carol i don't like that santa's toy shop i have that firefighters counting book i like this size here like the alphabet one that we like to do things um what's the small christmas one so I think we're going to get some of these things if Addison doesn't fall backwards. <laughs> Poor girl. Okay, we're going to get these ones because these are the ones we see. There's like a baby basket bed over here. Is that is that like a Pictionary? I don't even know what that is. I want to... You want to climb there? Whoa! Whoa! What you doing? What's this? I love this drum, this like random drum that's here. Okay, I'm going to stop. This. Sorry, we're just recording again because that clip was 25 minutes long. And I want to um, not have such a long clip to import back onto my computer. This little tyke's house here. We're still in the children's room, sort of, where we found the golden books. And they're kind of, I don't even know if there's any kind of order that we could leave these things in that would be okay and that would like not break anything I I don't think that there is but this is another down on the farm I think could I save this one guys do you think it's like bent a little bit but that's a really neat one hey bug here hold we're digging we're digging I think I could save this one even if it's a little bent we could unbend it what do you think it's like super vintage. You don't want to talk? You're like actually going to boycott talking on the internet? You're very funny. There's so many golden books here. Like antique books and such. Like so much stuff. Um, it's like I can hardly see what's what, you know? Like everyone on the internet is going to get a picture of my ass right now. And I said the word ass on YouTube, and I'm going to get me monetized for this video. Okay. Oh, here is a, another gold that you love. This one is, oh, okay. No, it's a, it's a Hanna-Barbera. Like, I don't know if anyone would buy that. Probably not. It's very old. The Three Bears. I think I have a copy of Three Bears. So I wouldn't buy that one. But this one is a very... Huckleberry Hound. It originally sold for 25 cents. I mean, I won't buy it because I don't really think that there's a market for that, but this is crazy. Okay, so we're going to go with these guys and see if we can get it. We're going to go with these and see if we can get them down the stairs. Um, Addison is digging away. Can somebody grab these so I can get myself out of here? <laughs> Here's some of the artwork on the wall. Yeah. It is. I can hardly like turn my foot around. Like this is not good. I'm I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck here. There's a little uh these little flashcards. Are there more of these? There's like random flashcards, but I don't see any like big thing of flashcards anywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think. We're gonna have to leave the flashcards and continue on. You guys still here? My my phone is warning me that I only have 45 minutes of footage left here. So I think that we will, I think we've reached the top of this. There's a closet there. Um, but I haven't seen any drawers of postcards and ephemera and letters and things like that. And I'm sure they exist but I don't know where to find them. And I have been trying to get footage for you guys in some of the darker places, but I don't have, these are all envelopes. I might need your lamp. I might need your flashlight rather. Okay. Well, there's purses here and clothing. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. As you can see, I'm a little out of breath because I have been climbing over all this stuff. But we're going to go through it. We're going to see what we can find. And then uh, when we get back, we will do a little haul and I will show you guys all what I bought. But 
this is a place definitely worth checking out. So um, I'll stay tuned and I will see you in a little while. Hey everyone, here I am with Margot, who currently still owns the Pink Lady here in Richford, Vermont. And I'm going to flip the camera around so she can give you a little bit of a spiel as to what it is that she has going on here and how long she has until she gets out. So give us a second and we'll just flip the camera around. This is my 22 room mansion I bought 32 years ago and I just sold it to a lovely family who's going to make it into a family vacation home. So I've got 30, 70 years of collecting in here that I have to sell. 22 rooms, chef full. So we'll be here. Yeah, I noticed that because it's, it's a little... August 21st. August 21st. Because yeah. I noticed that it's a little harder to climb over things yeah. than I'm used to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you told me once in the past that you're originally from Canada. Yeah, I'm from Toronto. Right. So how long have you been living in the United States? 1969. I bought my farm. Okay. 300 acres. Sorry. And we're going to... We'll, 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 go ju we'll just pause. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And now you're looking to retire? Well, I'm going to semi-retire. I'm still a real estate broker. i got five young agents. So. Okay. And then we're going to do a winery at the farm. So I'll be having a little antique shop, I think, at the farm. That sounds great. Yeah. So what yeah. we're going to do with your permission is we're going to leave for the viewers below all the contact information, the Google address of the Pink Lady. Okay. And if they want to come and get lost in here, just know that there's no insurance policy. So you need to, you need to have your own... HMO yeah. to, to walk around here, but uh, but we will uh, we will leave that information for you, Margot. You can wave, okay. and you guys have until August twenty first to help this lovely lady empty out yeah. well, her space. Here, so you have to give me a day's notice. All right. Yes, it's by appointment only. Yeah, yeah there yeah. is a sign. All right. Thank you okay. so much. You're very Thank you. Editing Zahava here. So this video has been quite a journey. I think I'm going to end it here and uh, we're going to pick it up tomorrow with the results of the thrift haul that I got at the Pink Lady Vintage because, uh, yeah, I mean, 30 minutes and quite a an excursion, quite a little field trip for everybody is probably enough for today's video. So I'm going to let this one sink in and then the next video that I'm going to film, I will show you the thrift haul that I picked up at the Pink Lady. So I hope you guys will tune in for that. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody who has come to spend a little bit of their day with me today. You know that if you stayed until the end of the video, you are absolutely my favorite. And until the next video where we're going to see the thrift haul from the Pink Lady, this is Sahaba saying ciao for now.